Good morning gamers, how are we doing on this fine day? Uh, what was that? Someone else has been exposed? Talking to miners? Mr. Beast's friend? What the fuck? I'm getting Inspector fucking Cluedo on the case, boys. Now, firstly, before we get into it, I need to disclaim, this is all he said, she said, but the evidence. I mean, I've seen some screenshots, I've seen some waffle, but holy hell. Now, this is nothing against Chris, um... Uh, fuck, oh, is their name Chris? Fuck, did I just dead name them? I'm gonna be cancelled within the first minute of the video. I think their name's Chris. So let's delve deeper than a uh, Tom Daly go swimming. Let's get delve deeper than Mia Khalifa's you know what, okay kiddies? Kiddies? Fuck. So here, we got this gentleman true. This video I'm gonna play, it's... Well... Strap yourselves in, boys. Try restrain from headbutting the computer. I mean, last week I made a video on Dr. D, or a couple weeks ago, there was another one who was that guy, Cody Co. Fucking hell. Now this bloke. I might just be called Pedo Harry. Wait, hold on. Pedophile hunting Harry. Oh, fuck. Play that shit, dog. And at this point, he would have been 16. And here we go. Here is the picture of them meeting up together. I'm gonna censor his face. So they met up um, with Chris, uh, past Chris, non-female Chris, man Chris. So technically, you know, it was a different person. Technically, that, that, that person's dead. So technically, no one's committed a crime. That was obviously severe sarcasm. I just have seen some people who are probably gonna, you know, well, it was his past life. He didn't do it. Mm, they don't deserve it. Mm, mm, mm. It was somebody else. They've changed. <coughs> and as you can see right there, there, there's Carl right there. There's Chris Tyson right there. Chris Tyson was talking to this guy since he was 13. Since he was Tyson 13. God damn. Do I need to tell you what that is? Illegal. I-double-L-E-G-A-L. -L -E Illegal. Against the law. Rules broken, mate. You'd be sent to the fucking principal's office, at least. Oh, but they're transgender. They deserve sympathy. <laughs> Swivel on it. Do you remember the hate Dr. D got? Rightly so. He un messaged underage minors. Oh, but it's different. No, it's not. It's not. They admit they have a weird photo holding pinkies like what the fuck that is absolutely weird 13 groomed until they were 17 16 now mr beast has a lot of cash doesn't he so let's see how quickly this shit's going to disappear college and of course the moment he was able these birds are really annoying me to drive he takes a camper van out in the middle of the woods which by the way very secluded area let me talk about that any time that someone is taking a camper van somewhere, bringing it out in the desert or the middle of the woods... It, it... You're either a paedophile or you're about to cook some meth. They're the only two options, bro. Heisenberg, Walter White knows best. Cook meth in the desert, boys. I can give you the tips. It's very unnecessary because there's RV parks, there's the Walmart parking lot, there's plenty of areas you can go instead of going to a place that's very unfamiliar to you to camp out there, especially in a secluded area. So the real question is, if he was talking to Chris Tyson, who is interested in both men and women, since he was 13 years old and Chris Tyson was in college, why did he take a camper van out to see him? So stick that in your pipe and think about it. Good Lord. I mean, it's, you know, people go camping. It's not, it's a big thing in America. <laughs> How many people go camping with 13 year olds? Uh, let me, how many people go camping with 13 year olds that aren't their 13 year old? You know, kids aside, cousins aside, family, friend, you know what I mean? They don't even, they barely fucking know each other. They're fucking pen pals online. Oh, I really liked your new tweet. Oh yes, I'm playing Minecraft too. Why don't we play together? Motherfucker. They were 13, bruh. 13. Like, you know, you go on Twitter and people sometimes have their ages. If I see anything with a one to start with, I'm like, fucking get that out of here, bro. You can get told off for just staring at it these days, bro. I'm like, fuck, I feel guilty. Oh, beautiful. I'm a disgusting scumbag. <laughs> Stab me eyeballs out because I've, I need punishing for just visiting this page. You know, someone follows you. Oh, who is it? Oh, no. Block, delete, delete account, start again. Like, I am not getting done. He looked in a 13 year old's general direction. <laughs> What a fucking scumbag! No, but seriously, why did they go camping? Um, were they roasting marshmallows over a fire? Potentially. Were they playing Uno in the back of the car? Potentially. Were they playing 
strip uno that's just a theory and by the way i make jokes because it's horrible if you don't like jokes fuck off now killer uh, killer cum star killer keem star tweeted this whatever your opinion of him is twat uh he at least has some information inside his shit chris tyson supported the cartoon cp artist shadman that drew his daughter the age of six in a sexual manner this is a known fact privately me and chris tyson even had a conversation about this roughly a month ago as it still upsets me this is not misinformation this is a fact so you know killer keemstar who's known for spreading misinformation <laughs> has given you some proper information no look he, he he ran the news business for a while didn't he this that and the other i, I don't care about him i think he's just someone who's managed to clip clutch onto this fame for far too long you know he should be forgotten he should be like you know a fossil in youtube and he's still fucking leeching on one of them friends who just won't leave you alone and keeps asking you for money and asking you for shit and you're just like dude you don't even know me fucking middle name. While there is a lot of transphobic bullshit that should be debunked, Chris Tyson was still a massive Shadman fan, even commissioning art from him, which made a cameo in when Mr. Beach, she is not clean as l would like to be. So, look, there's there's Keemstar. Again, this is a, someone's opinion, you know. So, she's guilty. Incorrect. Mr. Beast connected Killer Keem Keemstar. You know, take that how you want. Uh, directed Lava, the alleged Chris Tyson victim. I was not groomed. I did not meet Chris by myself. I met Chris... Chris with Mr. Beast crew with my pair family present. I ran a Discord with Chris when I was thirteen. Edgy, inappropriate jokes were said. That's it. So either either way, I, I think this is major, major damage control. You know what I mean? Iron Man is sent in the fucking task force to clean this shit up. Mr. Beast is, I think, a good man, but you know, after all this, do you think he didn't know? Do you think he didn't have an inkling of what was going on that this person was hanging out, messaging a 13 year old and then invited him out? They then obviously would have paid for things with a family there. Shit stinks, dog. Shit smells bad. So these videos are massive lies. Never did anything wrong. Just made a few edgy jokes. It's just like, never did anything wrong. This, that, and he just made a few rape jokes and said, you know, he'd love to fuck me. But there's nothing, it's hilarious. It's comic, it's, fu it's funny. I was 13. It was funny. No, you were 13 and getting led by someone who had a huge audience and someone who was linked to one of the biggest stars. Well, certainly it's now. I don't know what they were like back then, but, you know, Mr. Beast didn't just gain 200 mil subs in two days. Like, he's been around for a, to, a long time now. This situation takes away from children who are actively being exploited. I'm not a victim of anything being claimed in these videos or at all. <sighs> you know what I mean? If, if you know, something weird did happen and Mr. Beast sent, look, we damage control, get in here. Come in, lava, get your ass in here, right. That's 50 grand. No, for nothing. Nothing. Just 50 grand. We think you're amazing. Just, here's 50 grand. Okay. Um, would you just like to be honest as to what happened there? Here's the 50 grand. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. You know? Human beings are very, very flaky and easily manipulated. Very easily manipulated. Uh, I was going to show this, but I'm probably not going to anymore. Nick Merckx, uh, it was quite funny, you should go find it or you go have a look. It calls both Mr. Chris T and Chris Tyson's ex-wife for defending Chris a few months ago after all this has come out. You know, you have a lot of people saying, um, look, this is actually fucking hilarious. You have a lot of people saying, oh, I knew it. <laughs> is anyone surprised? That's just people being a bit like transphoby. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck what you are. If you're a prick, you're a prick. And this person, if what they did is more than a prick and deserves some very harsh things doing to them. Snip, snip, motherfucker. No. Maybe they've, they've already been... <laughs> they've already been snip, snip. <laughs> Watch this goo, though. Flight. What the fuck? One of those neighborhoods look like. So I went down a slide and now I'm into like a different world. And you know the carrots? <laughs> He just goes on and on and on with this person just laughing at them. It's fucking hilarious, though. You know what I mean? It's good shit, man. It's good shit, man. But as we always do, we'll see what Twitter's saying. Look, I, I think this is a hugely important thing. Both didn't have a lot of evidence. Let's be real. We've seen a few screenshots, a bit of he said, she said. Dr. Disrespect got treated like a pig. Rightly so. Celebrity streamers all coming out saying this guy's dirt. No one's come and done this with this person. Chris Tyson has done similar, if accusations would be true, and getting treated very, very differently. Just something I'd like to point out. Chris Tyson left his wife and child to pretend to be a woman and talk to minors. Chandler Howard from Us to Be has converted to Christianity and follows the Bible. 
which way, Western man? Be funny, um, oh, what's this fucking idiot one? You actually have receipts and you haven't said a word. See, yeah, again, oh, fuck, Sneaker had the same point as me, that's tragic. Oh yeah, this is one thing I did actually want to say. So this is Chris Tyson, I'm not going to play the video because we'll be here all day, but it's basically him giving out uh, revenge corn pictures for this Jeanette McCurdy from iCarly. You all know her, and he did some horrible things, uh, shared revenge porn pics with his audience just to piss her off. I have to show you this, we're gonna end on this. Coming out about Chris. <laughs> Mr. Beast when he found out that Chris was 16 Midas. What do you mean something's coming out about Chris? Oh God. Oh, it's gonna be a PR nightmare. <laughs> oh my God, did he say, did he say nigger? <laughs> no? Okay. Can't say that. You say anything crazy like can't even quote him, mate. Be in women's bathrooms. <laughs> you know? Oh, he only sexted and met up with a minor. Oh, thank God. <laughs> All right. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, look, you got to laugh, otherwise you cry. There's paedophiles everywhere. I'm not saying she is one, but you know, it's important to treat people everyone the same, equally, doesn't matter if they're man, woman, swap sides, whatever you think, Ms. Dr. D and this lady have done the same thing, messaging minors. Just keep that in mind. Let's, you know, hope it's all fake, but the evidence I've seen, <laughs> Scooby-Doo thinks you're fucking a waggy, Scooby-Doo thinks you're guilty, whoa! <laughs> oh.